In 83 days, Ohio voters could make history. That is when you'll decide if marijuana should be legal. The Secretary of State says Responsible Ohio has collected enough signatures to get it on the ballot. But it's really just the beginning. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us now with the showdown that's still to come. Brad? Well, good evening, Kimmy. That campaign uh, going to heat up over the next few months. Supporters praise marijuana's medical benefits and claim it would put pot dealers out of business. Opponents argue it's a scheduled drug and still criminalized at the federal level. But now it's up to you. But be careful at the polls. There's also a measure that could stomp out legal weed. It's now up to you on Election Day, November 3rd, 2015. The use of pot is officially on the ballot. And we found that people are excited about the idea of marijuana legalization in Ohio, the job opportunities it can bring, the compassionate care it can offer for sick Ohioans, and the tax revenue that can come back to our communities. If passed, Faith Oltman of Responsible Ohio says legalizing marijuana could generate more than $550 million for Ohio. And 10 counties will grow it in mass quantities including Claremont, Hamilton, and Butler counties. In other states like Colorado that have unlimited licensure, we found that uh, it's easier for their marijuana to be tainted with things like pesticides and insecticides. But not everyone wants legal weed. Mary Haig is the president of Prevention First, a regional coalition working in substance abuse prevention. So our concern is, and what we've seen in other states, is then that would therefore, with the, with the legalization or the commercialization of marijuana in Ohio, that that would increase access for kids. Um, it's already decreasing their perception of how harmful it is, and therefore we would have more kids exposed and um, developing the consequences from that use that we don't want to see happen. Haig says it needs to be tested and approved the right way through the Food and Drug Administration. Now on the ballot, if you want to vote for the legalization of marijuana, you'll vote for issue three. Next to it, on the ballot, issue two, a measure that would prohibit monopolies and cartels in Ohio, especially involving any federally controlled substance such as marijuana. Now, if they both pass, lawmakers have said the legislative initiative would take precedence Responsible Ohio says the top vote getter wins, so this fight may not even end on Election Day. Cami? Interesting. All right. Thank you, Brad. Next week, the Ohio Ballot Board will meet to determine the language you'll actually see on the ballot.